Hello. Um, I'm going to talk about what is the what is point and vector, and also I talk about what is different between point and vector. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, first is what is pawn. Pawn means that normally we have position. Like for this jump pawn, we have in the coordinate x, y. This pawn have two and two. <laughs> Another example is one two. This pawn have two one. So pawn have position. But pawn doesn't have size. Now like we don't have what is the size of the pawn, right? So <laughs> pawn doesn't have size. Pawn can move to different position. Pawn can move to different location. Uh, for example, we have a pawn here. Is one one. And we can boot the pawn here. It's two. So here's two, one. So we can boot pawn from one, one to two, one. From one one two two one so pawn can move to different location so that is the what so that is the pawn so that is the definition of the pawn so pawn have position pawn doesn't have size and pawn can move to different location Okay, let's uh, talk about vector. Okay, uh, vector normally we have vector have size. What if like have size or man magnitude. Like for example, we have a vector one, two. So vector is one two so we equal to one and two so the magnitude of vector is we can use this formula is uh, magnitude you mean from the 
tail to the tip. The is uh, the distance between the tail and the head. So also, vector have direction. Like for example, our vector one, two. When we talk about direction, it means we can use angle to represent data. So we know that cosine data is equal to equal we know the sign data is equal to one over one square plus two square equal to square root of five So the vector here have angle, have this angle is theta. Theta is equal to the inverse of sine which is one over square root of five. So vector have size or magnitude or vector have direction. Okay, uh, let's uh, see what is uh, different between vector and one. What is the different between pawn and vector pawn one vector Okay, from picture point of view, vec point just one point, if vector is different, there's angle and magnitude size. Point just have location. Okay, in order to understand what is different between point and vector, Actually, there's relationship between pawn and vector. Okay, let's uh, see one example. Assume we have a pawn here, one one, and also we have pawn here. Two, three. So two, three. Um,
assume we have a pawn in one one and assume have a pawn in this four four this pawn one 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 so we have two pawn p zero equal to one equal to one one p one equal to four four so actually if we look at p0 and p1 we can have a vector we can have a vector from here from p0 to p1 so how can we compute a vector from p0 from 1 1 to 4 4 what we can do vector from p0 p1 is equal to p1 subtract p0 you do in the opposite side use p1 subtract p0 p1 subtract p0 equal to p0 p1 so you have 4 4 subtract 1 1 so that's equal to 3 3 But normally when we write in a vector we use a column vector you mean that we write we write something like this three three so we have a vector from one one to four four one one is two the tail is or the head one is the tail, P0 is the tail, P1 is the head. So uh, this vector has size. We can let it equal V. So the size of V is equal to magnitude 3 square plus 3 square equal to 18, 3 square root of So the direction of the vector, we can we know that is uh, so we can have uh, so the direction of the vector is. Sin theta equal to three subtract three square root of two equal to square root of two. So theta is equal to sin inverse one square root of to which is equal to 45 mm. so uh, that is the tutorial basically is most important thing you need to remember is how can you use pawn to compute a vector so you know the difference between pawn and vector
Okay, uh, that's the end of the tutorial. If you like the tutorial, please subscribe. Thank you. Bye bye.